Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to improve your boot up speed on your Windows computer. Specifically, this will be Windows 10, but the same principles will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the star menu, just by left clicking on the star button one time. And you want to type in msconfig. So again, msconfig all one word. You want to select the msconfig run command option. There should be other ones that come up very similar for Windows 7 and Windows 8. You want to select that one to so msconfig again. And you want to go over and left click on the boot tab. And now that we're in here you want to left click on advanced options. So you want to check mark inside the box here for number of processes and there should be a drop down in here. So if you have multiple processes I would suggest going up to the most that are listed in here. So if you have two or three or four or five, you want to select that. So make sure you just select that, whatever the highest number is in here. Left click on OK. And you can also left click on the startup tab. So on Windows 10 you actually have to go through a task manager in order to change it. So I'm going to left click on open task manager. I don't know why they did this on Windows 10, but you know, I'm sure they always have their reasons. So Anyway, if we go underneath the startup items here, most of these can be disabled safely. So we see Microsoft OneDrive and the status it should be either enabled or disabled and the startup impact. So you can actually go about just selecting them right here and left click on disable. You will have to restart your computer in order for the changes to take effect. And I would also go ahead and suggest looking at processes under Task Manager. So if you had to open up Task Manager, you just right click on your taskbar down here and then left click on Task Manager. If you're on an earlier version of Windows, automatically it redirected this. And you can sort by CPU and memory about what programs are taking up a lot of your memory. So it might not necessarily be all Windows processes here, it could be additional third party applications. So something definitely to keep in mind. So you can see if you have different antivirus software or Google services as well. Just a variety of different services. It doesn't necessarily mean they're bad if they're taking up a lot of memory. It's just something you maybe want to consider looking into and seeing if you necessarily need it on your computer. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.